What's up guys, we're doing a review on the Elder Predator, the Golden Angel. This is part of NECA's continuing comic series of Predator figures. This one's really cool because it's based off the Elder Predator that's in Predator 2 that hands Danny Glover the old musket. And this is him in his younger days. It's really cool box art all around. Have more shots of the figure, more comic art. And as always, with all their Ultimate Figure releases, there's a little window right here. So alright, let's get this guy open and see how cool he is. Alright, so here we have him out of packaging. Really cool design to this Predator. I feel like this is one of the more unique ones that we've gotten out of the recent releases. This lime green yellow paint job is like very, very vibrant. And it stands out and there's this red speckling that's going across like mostly the front all through here. It's very subtle, but it looks really nice. And then he has this nice, like, bronze, goldish paint job all over. Hence, the Golden Angel Predator. And I have him with most of his accessories on right now. I'll go over those in a second as well, but... Yeah, this sculpt is just really awesome. So, as far as accessories, he comes with a bunch. One of them, right here, and probably the most important one, is... The 19... or 1718 musket this is the same gun that's given to danny glover by the predator at the end of predator 2 really cool and it's cleaner right here the original releases i if i remember right it's more weathered looking and then he comes with the throwing disc which is right here in its storage area I'll try to get it out so he comes with just a closed one which you can store right there and then he comes with an open one which you can put in his hand. Really cool. He also comes with this really cool, like, futuristic-looking sword dagger thing. So it comes out like this, which is the retracted form. And then he also comes with the blade that also stores up here, which is really cool. And this just pegs in to the sword, just like this. And this figure also comes with uh, two other interchangeable head sculpts. So here's the one that it comes with in packaging. Really cool looking design. And then the other two. One of them is the unmasked one. If I'm not wrong, it's the same sculpt as the original. I'll try to get if there we go. As the original Predator 2 Elder, he even has the piercing right here with the little actual metal chain, which is really awesome. Come on, get it to focus. There we go. And then the last head sculpt he comes with, probably my favorite one, is this one right here. This is the biomass that he has in the beginning of the 1718 Predator comic. I think it looks really nice. I like the more like traditional Predator 1 looking or like vibe that this one's given off, but it looks angrier almost. Really cool. And then he also comes with two other interchangeable hands. One's a gripping one for the sword or the gun. And then one regular fisted hand. And then the two open splayed out hands that are already on the figure. So for the articulation on this guy, he's using the Predator 1 body mold, so it's the same exact thing. Uh, I'm gonna take off the Canon backpack because this thing just keeps popping off because this peg is kind of deformed on mine so it doesn't want to clip in up here and it just it's gonna keep falling off. And yeah, so for articulation the head is on a ball joint, shoulders are on hinge swivels on both ends. This one gets a little bit more range. And plus there's tubes here and here just like all the other releases, so you gotta be wary of those to not snap them. Uh, he has bicep swivel. This one's pretty free to move, and just be careful of this. Don't pull it too far. Uh, double jointed elbows, uh, gauntlet swivel or forearm, wrist swivel, and then wrist hinge on all the hands the same way, just up and down like this. And the the wrist blades on mine are really really stuck. I tried to get it out, and then that happened, and that one just doesn't want to come out at all. So that kind of sucks, but. What can you do? We've come to learn these things with NECA figures. And uh, on this one, the wrist communicator bomb detonator thing opens up. 
really cool, just like all the other ones. And then for waist, he has really good range. There's Baldron at the top here and at the bottom. So that's pretty good. And then uh, this belt piece is separate, so that can be moved around if you wish to. And then the pistol can be stored in there, just like it is in the comic and in the movie. He has thigh swivel, legs go out that far, they go up that forward, that back. This one comes up a little bit further, actually. It's just the sculpt that's kind of hindering it on this side. And he has double jointed knees. And then he has uh, ankle swivel, or it's a ball joint at the ankle. That was pretty good range. And the joints overall are really good on this one. Nothing is floppy. Some other Predator figures, if you were to do this, the legs would go back and forth. It just wouldn't hold like a stance or anything. This one's done really, really well. And here's a little size comparison of how tall he stands next to the NECA God of War Kratos and the NECA uh, Dutch the final battle version. These all scale pretty well because NECA is pretty consistent with that throughout every single line that they do. So yeah, if you plan on using this in any kind of display that involves NECA figures, you should be fine. So overall, this was a fantastic piece in my opinion. The colors are just too good. Paint job is amazing on this one. Um, the head sculpt and the eye, especially the eye paint application is so clean that I think I'm going to display it with this one, even though the helmets are really cool. The only drawbacks are the backpack piece, how the peg is kind of deformed on mine. I don't know if that's an issue overall. I know sometimes Predator figures that I've had in the past have done the same thing. So it just might be a QC thing. And then uh, the only other issue is, again, another QC problem, the wrist blades. But there's not much that can be done there. I feel like NECA should start doing what they did so well with the Ahab Predator, where this whole piece was just a separate piece that was not glued in. It was the same exact mold, but this just tabbed in and was held on by friction, just like any tab or peg would for any kind of figure. So if they would start to adopt that sort of a mentality when it comes to these sort of things, that we wouldn't end up getting glued in joints, or not glued in joints, but glued in pieces that are supposed to slide back and forth. Granted, it could be paint, but I feel like it's just it's too tight in there. It's There's no way it's paint. It's probably just glue that they used for this gauntlet piece to stay on there. So if they just start making that separate, it can help out a lot. But yeah, gripes aside, this is probably one of the best Predator pieces that they've made. And yeah, so if you guys are trying to get them, he should be hitting stores very soon. Uh, comic shops should be getting them right now. But yeah, uh, just look out for it. Oh, and then also... And if you guys are trying to find this at like a Target and you're going to be looking up UPC numbers, DPCI numbers, here you guys go. And that's the UPC number. You should be able to uh, punch that into like BrickSeek and check or reverse it to give you the DPCI number. So yeah, uh, good luck getting this one, you guys. It's an awesome piece. I definitely recommend it.